As we, um, as we come to the time uh, where we talk about our offering and where we have congregational prayer, I uh, wanted to highlight a few things for you. Uh, today's offering is for denominational ministry shares. Denominational ministry shares. Uh, remember, uh, we all as a denomination pool some of our resources together uh, to contribute to various uh, projects and endeavors in sharing the word of God in words and in deeds throughout the world. And so uh, ministry shares uh, is a very efficient and wonderful way uh, to do that. So today's offering is for ministry shares. Uh, also wanted to highlight for you the seafarers. Um, we are having an offering for the Seafarers Center next week. However, um, every year we we gather uh, we gather packages um, and or give gifts uh, to the F Seafarers Center in order to give Christmas gifts to seafarers. And and this year it is especially uh, important to do that now. Uh, the deadline for giving financial gifts uh, for the Seafarer Center is supposed to be today. And so if you would like to do that, you may give those gifts via e-transfer or in the collection plate. Um, just mark it uh, for the Seafarer Center on your envelope um, just in at the end of the service. But this year, our seafarers in, in Montreal uh, especially, they have been been many of them they have been stuck on their ships since like April and they have not been able to go anywhere many of them because uh, lots of shipping has been canceled they have not been able to go home and see their families for months and months um, and and they are uh, feeling their loneliness they are also feeling their lack of work. Many of them have not had work um, for you know many months. Um, and so um, if you are wanting to gather seafarers, uh, packages for seafarers, uh, you can do that. Um, and uh, you can also um, give gifts for that as well. So um, please. Um, there's a sign on our door with details about how to give gifts to the seafarers. Um, check that out as you go and be in prayer. But also let's help our seafarers practically as well this year with gifts of encouragement especially. Also, uh, we, we have a few um, prayer requests this morning. Uh, one is that we want to pray for Brian and Jody, um, Alex and Judy, uh, Julie's um, son, uh, daughter and son-in-law, and their baby. Um, the baby is due to be uh, born via C-section um, today, uh, this evening. Um, and so be in prayer for that, of course. However, also be in prayer. The baby has uh, a hole in his uh, diaphragm, um, which uh, means that uh, that's obviously not good all by itself. But it also means that some of the organs that are supposed to be in the abdomen have moved up into the area where the lungs are supposed to be developing. And that uh, has meant that the lungs have not developed as they, as they should, ideally. Now, we don't know the prognosis yet. It will take a few days to find out how the baby is actually doing. Um, and, but there's, as you can imagine, um, it is a complicated and difficult time. So please pray for Brian and Jody, for the peace that passes understanding for them and for Alex and Julie. And please also pray very much for the doctors and for um, the baby uh, himself, that, uh, that all would go well and that this little child uh, would thrive and, uh, and be whole. We also uh, want to remember uh, Laura, um, Laura L., her niece, Hannah, is also due to have a baby. Um, and uh, she went into the hospital and had um, she, her, her um, 
contractions, <laughs> thank you, uh, were, were, um, were three minutes apart, but really inconsistent. And then uh, she had a fair amount of bleeding. And so they're not sure how things are going there. Um, so uh, they may also need a, a C-section. But please be in prayer for Hannah and for that baby as well. Also, uh, we want to very much be in prayer for Jeanette. Uh, Jeanette um, has heard from the doctors that uh, she, she needs a knee replacement on her left knee, right? Um, now, right now, it's scheduled to be a, um, a partial knee replacement in January, hopefully. Um, but she needs to hear from uh, WSIB as to whether or not they're going to uh, cover for some of that. And so we are praying very much that she will have a favorable decision from them uh, and that uh, if need be, she can have the full knee replacement. Uh, but we're also praying for her in her pain um, and as she carries on uh, with that as well. All right, let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, you have heard all of these things that we have spoken about. There, there are so many people near and dear to our heart, um, beyond even those we have spoken about explicitly this morning, who are struggling in various ways. We lay them all before you, O oh God, whether they are struggling with their health on a daily basis, their, their chronic health needs, uh, or whether they are struggling uh, in particular at this moment with a particular health crisis, or whether, O oh God, they are um, struggling with other life circumstances. Oh God, we just pray for all of them. Lord, especially this morning, we pray for Brian and Jody and their baby. We pray for Alex and Julie. We pray that you would give doctors and other healthcare professionals all the wisdom that they need. We pray for your miraculous healing of this baby. We pray for um, just the triumph of life over death. Life, life that you provide. For you are the author of life. We pray, O oh God, for Laura and her niece, Hannah, and her baby. We pray that there, too, you will intervene and provide safety, and that this baby will be born healthy and well, and that the mama, Han Hannah, will be protected, too. Father, we pray very much for Jeanette as well. We ask that you would be with her and be also with WSIB as they consider her case. Lord, may they provide her with all that she stands in need of to, to recover from uh, this chronic pain and debilitation. Um, Lord, yeah, we pray for her. We pray for all of those who are experiencing ongoing pain. Lord, we lay before you all those who are battling cancer in our congregation. Lord, we thank you that Edith can be here again this Sunday. We pray that you will continue to be with her in her treatment. We pray, O oh God, that you will be with Henny in her ongoing battle as well. Would you guide her and keep her? And Lord, would you strengthen her and mark? Lord, we pray as well that you will be with Frank in his health at this time. We pray as well that you will be with Wayne in his ongoing health struggles. Lord, we pray that you will be with all of those who cannot get out and about as they normally would like to. Lord, keep them in your care. 
We pray, O Lord, not only for those in our congregation struggling with health concerns, but also all of those in in this area and in this nation and in this world. Lord, whether it be COVID-19 or whatever struggles, health struggles we see in this world, Lord, we know, we know that we were originally designed by you to be free from disease and sickness. And yet we know, O oh God, that because of our sin, this whole world has been corrupted. So Lord, we ask for your forgiveness through Jesus Christ our Lord, and we ask for your mercy for this world as well. Father, we thank you so much that this area, this particular area, has so far been spared many of the devastating effects of COVID-19, and we pray that you will continue to keep that so. But know as well, O God, that there are many areas of this world where they are struggling quite heftily with COVID-19. Lord, we pray especially for our neighbors to the south in the United States where so many people daily are getting diagnosed with that disease. Father, we likewise pray for our neighbors to the south uh, in their election, Uh, Lord, We know that uh, various statements have been made about um, who has won the presidential election and there have been statements made about whether there has been corruption or fraud involved. Lord, we pray that peace would reign, that reconciliation would happen, and that you, O God, would be seen to be triumphant King. That we, whether we are Christ followers or whether we are not yet, we pray that all people would be drawn to see you, Jesus, as our King. Father, again, closer to home, but also yet throughout this world, we pray for seafarers. We pray for all those seafarers in Montreal and in other ports in Canada and and throughout this world who have been stuck where they are for months and months, who are struggling without work, who are struggling with loneliness, who are struggling economically, who are struggling to provide for their families at home. Lord, we pray that you would be with the Seafarer Center and the Montreal Mission to Seafarers as they work and provide uh, help and relief and comfort for seafarers. We pray that we may be part of that uh, as well. And Lord, we pray too that you will be with our offerings to ministry shares. May you be glorified through these gifts and offerings. May your name be praised and may your glory and your kingdom be spread throughout this world. And Father, we pray too that you will guide us as we look to your scriptures in the message this morning. Would you open our hearts and minds to receive what you would have us receive and to know what you would have us know that we may lead lives that honor and glorify you and bring hope to this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, we are sort of continuing a kind of pseudo-series on 